Hi, boys and girls. Today, oh, what was that? Blue, what are you doing? Did you just throw paper at me? That's not nice. Oops, <laughs> I messed it up. Oh, it's all, what, what happened here, buddy? Did you, did you make a mistake? Hmm. Yeah, you did? Well, Blue, mistakes happen. All right, boys and girls. Blue has brought up a very good point that we need to address here. Mistakes. So, over the past couple of weeks, I've been hearing that kids are making mistakes and they're getting so frustrated that they're giving up on their artwork. So, my friends, let's talk about that. Mistakes, they happen. They happen all the time. Okay, and you know what? Mistakes, I think, is a good thing because when you make a mistake, you are learning from the mistake you have made. And not only that, but it's giving you the opportunity to be a creative thinker. So, you guys, a lot of times, you look at my work and you're trying to get to do what I am doing. And then, if yours looks a little bit different than mine, some of us get very frustrated by that, and then they give up. So guys, <sighs> mistakes happen. Take a deep breath, <gasps> and you need to understand something. If all of our projects looked exactly the same, that would be so boring. I want them to be different. I want to see your mistakes. I want to see what you can do with your mistakes. So when we are creating something, Mistakes happen. Every artist makes them. Sometimes there are a huge mistake that you have no idea what to do with it. And some of the time there are teeny tiny little mistakes that you can fix along the way. When you see me drawing, you don't see me making a ton of mistakes in front of you, but you have to understand something. I'm an art teacher. I went to art school. I do art all the time. I am really practiced with my art and I really understand the tools and materials and different little hacks to make them work. So, if you don't feel like you're at my level, well, you know what? You're not. You're not old. And you haven't done this for a really long time. So, give yourself a little break. Pat yourself on the back and say, come on, self, we can try this. Let's do it. It's okay. Mistakes happen. So, this week is all about making mistakes. We're going to read a really cool book all about making mistakes, and our project is going to revolve around making a mistake, okay? And let me tell you this, when you are trying to make your art look perfect, you are never going to have any fun making art, okay? I tell you that from personal experience. As I've said earlier, I'm old. I've done this for a really long time. And when I was uh, going through school, I did not like making art. I didn't like it at all. And one of the reasons why is because it had to be perfect. If it's not perfect, what's the point? So as a result, making art was frustrating. It really bothered me. I never could make it exactly how I wanted it. And a lot of times I ended up ripping up my picture and throwing it away. Just like you, Blue. Well, except for you threw it at my face. Bad Blue. Anyways. So, I did that all the time. Then one year, when I was pretty old, I was actually like in my 20s, I realized something. When I am so focused on making my art perfect, I never, ever, ever, ever have fun. If I'm not having fun making art, then what's the point? Why should I be doing it if I don't even like it? So, that's when I made the decision, who cares what it looks like? Who cares if it's perfect? Who cares if it looks like a garbage truck hit it? Okay? The point is doing something that makes me happy. So, my friends, once I let go of it being perfect, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun making everything. There's way less pressure to make everything perfect, and things have been turning out even way better than I expect them to. Okay? So that's my tip for you. Don't aim for perfection ever, all right? But the thing is, is you should always try. Try your best and persevere through the mistakes. So we're going to get to read a lovely, lovely book all about making mistakes, and then I'm going to introduce what your project is. 
okay? Woof, woof, woof. Sounds good. Let's do it. Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. Oops! A torn piece of paper, uh-oh, is just the beginning. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Every spill has lots and lots of possibilities. Bent paper, uh-oh, oh, is something to celebrate. <laughs> A little drip of paint lets your imagination run wild. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. Bark, bark. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. A stain has potential. If you play, with its shape. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. See? When you think you have made a mistake, oops! Think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. The end. Okay, my friends, so we have just read Beautiful Oops. And like it says, it's giving you an opportunity to create something beautiful when you make a mistake. So we're going to start off with our project this week by making a mistake. <laughs> so what we need is a piece of paper some sort of drawing utensil. I have a marker. Hello, I'm a marker. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you, and you don't have to do it with me because it's really easy squeezy. I'm going to get my drawing utensil ready. I am going to close my eyes, and I'm going to make a mark. So I just made a mark. I made it really quick. You want to see my mark? I'll prove it. I'll prove it. That's my mark. Maybe I could look at it this way, or this way, or this way, or this way. I don't know. Whichever way. Go team. So you guys, your job is to when you make a mark, and your mark doesn't have to look like mine. Hello. Just make your own crazy mark. It's going to be random. So your mark, you're going to take that mark, and you're going to turn it into something fancy. Okay? Maybe I can turn this into some really cool mountains. Yeah. Mountains are cool. Or some ziggity zaggities. Or maybe like a worm doing the worm. That sounds legit. So what I need to do with this is finish it now. So we start off with our mistake and then we're going to add and add and add and add and add until we get a finished piece of art. So easy squeezy lemon peasy. All you got to do is make a mistake and then finish your drawing. So again pep talk. If you make a mistake, that's okay. I still want to see these. I still want to see you persevere and get through your work. Okay? Giving up is not what we should be doing. Okay? Woof. All right? Remember, you will have so much more fun with your work if you, from the beginning, understand that it's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to have some sort of little oopsie here and there. That's okay. Mrs. Nosita has so much more fun making art when she accepts that she's probably going to mess it up a lot. Okay? Trust me, I mess it up all the time. Got talent. <laughs> all right. So again, make a mark, turn it into something new, and I cannot wait to see these on Seesaw. Have fun with this, you guys. This is a fun little project, okay? So, <sighs> have fun. Take a deep breath. Work through your mistakes. You got this. You guys are awesome. Be creative. Yeah. All right. Post them on Seesaw, and I'll see you later.